ladies and gentlemen, the coroner calls 2017 heroin overdose numbers scary, alarming, and discouraging. This is an article that came out on um, WLWT5, and it was dated March 20th, 2018. I'll leave the link to this article in the description box. The coroner finds the numbers scary, alarming, and discouraging. Her words. A record 529 overdose deaths in Hamilton County last year. Use of heroin, fentanyl, carfentanyl, cocaine, all up. The deadly mix and match street cocktails also high. It's staggering to realize it could be even worse. Obviously, our 529 overdose deaths is a huge number, but... There's no doubt that would have been double or triple if we didn't have Narcan out there in the hands of all our law enforcement and first responders. Just yesterday, Hamilton County announced its expanded quick response team effort would start April 3rd. Bobby Turner will be a part of it. He's a former heroin addict in recovery. I realize that I have a disease that I have to treat on a daily basis, that it doesn't go away, and I have to continuously treat my disease. Those on the front line of the fight say their concerted efforts are stronger than ever, yet the numbers are higher than ever. What we need is state resources and federal resources, and that's one of the reasons I've been so vocal is try, it's not a lack of effort. It's not a lack of people not doing stuff. We are told Hamilton County's a drug market magnet. Users come here from elsewhere to buy and shoot up right away, so many who are from Lexington, Louisville, Butler County die here. The, the amount of bulk heroin or bulk fentanyl uh, that we seized this past year, I, I don't have the percentage, but it's, it's through the roof. It's at least 50%. Here's another sobering stat. Fentanyl overdoses, 10 times what they were just three years ago. We can't do this alone. I mean, everybody here is busting their butt. Dr. Samarco urging the community to step up now, those of you watching now, to not hold back. She's asking if you know of someone who is dealing drugs on the streets or using drugs on the street to alert authorities about it so that this year, 2018, doesn't become another record breaker. Reporting live in Walnut Hills, John London, WWT News 5. Okay. All right. So as you can see, the OD deaths are still going through the roof. And there's no end in sight. Get this together. Um. And this is Cincinnati. That's where um, Hamilton County is, of course, Ohio. So they were saying the 2017 heroin overdose numbers were scary, alarming, and discouraging. There were 529 overdose deaths in Hamilton County last year. And out of that number, 373 involved opiates. The overdose death uh, topped the year before by well over a hundred use of heroin fentanyl carfentanil and cocaine were all up so was uh mixing drugs and usually when people end up at the coroner's office it's because they have you know a mixture of two or more drugs in their system uh, drug investigators receive 3,886 opiates and more than 30,000 items that were turned in a record amount. It's staggering to realize the numbers could have been um, even worse. So obviously 529 overdose deaths is a huge number. So they're saying that people come into their county for drugs and end up dying there. Okay, so um, there is no doubt that would have been double or triple if we didn't have Narcan out there in the hands of all of our law enforcement and first responders. And remember, Narcan don't work all that well when they take things like carfentanil and fentanyl. There's a chance they can't bring them back at all. So the stronger the drug, the less of the chance of the Narcan is to even work. All right, so you know they're calling this a public health issue and you know everybody is bracing themselves because they know the writing is on the wall. Right here. The writing is on the wall. They know 2018 already is going to be a bad year. 
They know this already. Okay. That's why Trump has come out because there are record breaking numbers of ER visits due to drug and alcohol overdosing. They're still finding a high number of dead people every day um, due to drug addiction. And it's, it's not slowing down. Now they've already cut back on many doctors not writing as many scripts, but the problem is if you don't fix this on the street level too, you have no chance of stopping it. And again, they don't wanna do nothing to the user. They're not gonna win this battle. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice. Join me on Black Junction TV and blackspot.com. Peace, family.